Was Liz Truss's biggest mistake, in fact, failing to sell her vision to the public and the market? I suspect it was. Joining me now to discuss this is Conservative Home columnist and GB News presenter, Emily Carver. Emily, how are you? Good evening, I'm very well. Right, good, just as well. OK, so was Liz Truss really brought down by some kind of big left-wing economic cabal? Um, well, that's what she said in her very long essay, 4,000 words in the Sunday Telegraph, and she's repeated it again in her interview with Spectator TV. She thinks that she was not only dealt a difficult uh, hand, but that it was also near impossible for her to implement what she wanted to do. And there may well be some truth to that. She blames the OBR for being very static with their models and forecasts and that they pushed her into having to give up her plans for the economy. But I must say, she wants to reinvigorate her image as the voice of free market economics. And I'm not sure whether she's the right person to do it because in her mini budget, she announced huge amounts or prior to it, she announced huge amounts of public spending. Then she immediately announced mm. huge tax cuts. Now, anyone who knows free market economics will know that it's rather important to address how you're going to get the deficit down and public spending yeah. down if you're going to then have room for tax cuts. Can I, so I think. Yeah. Can, yeah, I just, no can I just can I just just interrupt you there, Emily? I'm just taking advantage of one of the few times I'm allowed to do it, actually. But um, just on, <laughs> just on this, are you, as a conservative, a believer in free markets and a low taxes, high growth society? Are you actually quite angry at Liz Truss for messing it up? Because now it's kind of kicked it into the long grass, hasn't it? Well, this is the thing. It's all rather depressing because people are now saying that free market economics has been tried. It's failed, much like communism always fails when it's tried. People are comparing the two. I think that's terribly unfair, but I would agree with perhaps some of those voices to say that Liz Truss perhaps should have taken a little more time to think about what went wrong, because it seems from her long essay in The Telegraph and the interview that she hasn't quite realised that she got things wrong. There's a lot of blaming on other people. She clearly didn't understand how fragile the markets were at that moment. She clearly didn't understand a lot of things. And she certainly didn't get her own side on side. And that's rather important if you want to be prime minister. However, I do think it may be a good thing if this reinvigorates some kind of debate around economics, because most people will be looking at what Rishi Sunak and Jeremy Hunt are doing and thinking, well, that ain't very good either.